Welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids. In today's lecture, we are going to solve some example based on coplanar non-concurrent forces. So let us start with example. So this problem is given to us. I will read the data first. Find magnitude and direction of resultant with respect to O for a system as shown in figure. So in this figure, we have given a system of force which contain four different forces and we are asked to determine magnitude and direction of resultant with respect to point O. So first of all, we need to determine sigma H that is summation of all horizontal forces and sigma V that is algebraic sum of all vertical forces. So let us start with sigma H. But before that, here we can see all the forces are either in horizontal or vertical direction except one. So this force need to resolve first. So there will be two component of this force. This component will be 20 cos 45 and this will be 20 sin 45. Now let us determine sigma h and sigma v. So here three different horizontal forces are there. 10 kN is in positive direction. 5 kN and 20 cos 45 are in negative direction. So the summation of sigma h is minus 9.14 kN. Same way we have worked out sigma v. There are two forces in vertically upward direction 20 kN and 20 sin 45. So this two will be added and finally sigma v is 34.14 kN. Now from this we can easily determine resultant by the equation of resultant that is sigma h whole square plus sigma v whole square. So let us equate the value of this. Let us calculate the value of R. So by solving, so by solving it, value of R has been obtained as 35.34 kN. Now let us work out the direction of force. This is the equation of direction of resultant force and the value of sigma v and sigma h has been equated and after calculation the value of theta has been obtained as 75.01 degree. Here the value of sigma h is negative and value of sigma v is positive. So we can say the resultant lies in second quadrant. Now let us determine the position of resultant force with respect to O. So let us assume that R is lying in second quadrant and it is at distance x, perpendicular distance x from point O. Now let us take in moment about point O. For that let us apply Verignon's theorem according to which the moment of all forces about any point will be equal to moment of resultant about that point. So moment of this resultant about this point O it will be force R into distance X and this will equal to the moment of all forces about O point. Now it can be seen that 5 kN force 
and 10 kN force are passing from the point O. So they will not create any moment. Same way 20 sin 45 is also passing from point O. It will also not cause any moment. Now remaining force 20 kN and 20 cos 45 will cause moment. So let us work out the moment. So this moment is in anticlockwise direction which we have taken positive. So it is 20 cos 45 that is magnitude and the perpendicular distance is 2 meters. The moment due to this force is also in anticlockwise direction. So it will also be positive. Force is 20 kN and distance of 20 from point O that is 2 meter. So let us simplify this and work out the value of x because r is known to us. Value of r is 35.34 kN. So by solving it, the value of x has been obtained as 1.932 meter. So this resultant lies 1.932 meter perpendicular from point O. So this way we can solve such problem. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.